Kitchen. Fundamental. The essential good showmanship. The way professional wrestling used to be. That's been the foundation and formula of the Universal Wrestling Federation. It began in the summer of 1990 with a mandate from founder and president Herb Abrams to bring professional wrestling back to the glory days. The UWF charter has followed in the footsteps of some of the great teachers of the world. Other great champions, the UWF is ready to break from the pack. Thank you for joining us. Uh, welcome to the Universal Wrestling Federation Fury Hour. I'm Craig DeGeorge, joined again by, unfortunately, this week, the Golden Greek John Tolan. You know, Craig DeGeorge, you're yes. getting better and better all the time. I told you, man, hang around with the Golden Greek to get it. You know, last week, what matches? i never seen matches like this in my entire life, and I've been in a wrestling profession for quite some time. Yeah. All the matches were super. You thought you saw a lot last week? Wait till this week. Chess Pro, 3260, and a guy you'll be hearing a lot about He's about 6'8 or so, way over 300 pounds. He's a night stalker. You know what gets me? All these kids are 26, 27, 28 years old, but man, they're 6'6. They weigh 300 pounds. They really grow them big today. They certainly do, so get ready for the Fury Hour coming up next. On this week's show, Jeff Rowe, 3260. Making his UWF debut, Barry Holloway. From Atlanta, Georgia, the 6'9 giant, the night stalker. And in the main event, Homer Kessler with his manager, Kevin Casey. Ladies and gentlemen, our next event of 15 minutes time limit. Introducing first from parts unknown, weighing in at 270 pounds, Midnight Star. You can join us once again for another super hour here. Death Row 3260. Now he did time in prison because he didn't do anything, and now he is out to get even with anybody. So don't say anything bad about him, John, or you'll be in trouble. Well, I'm not going to say nothing bad about this guy, State Death Row. Pardon me. 350 pounds, six foot three. He's been wrestling about six, seven years. Real big man. Real big man. Whoa! Car moved out of the way quickly. Now he throws it down for possible. No, good job. I understand that uh, Death Row 3260 has asked for a copy of the videotape of this shot. So better be on your best behavior. I'll tell you what. Tell me something. When, when, when you were on Death Row, uh, George, uh, what was your number? 1542? Come on, let it out. Come on, man. I won't tell anybody. Uh, what was your the, uh, number at Death Row? Yeah. Well, the nice start, pretty impressive here. Oh, what a great flying, spinning kick by Death Row 3260 to get out of that difficult position. I tell you, man, there's another wow. guy, big man, you know, and the guy moves, I mean, really moves. They must have fed him good in the state prison, I'll tell you that now, right now, man. This guy really moves. Look at him. He's just a, like a lightweight. You know, I just can't, I'm going to tell you the truth. These guys are so heavy, they're moving like lightweights. This is what I like. This is what I love. Look at that. Unreal. Oh, you know, standing drop kick by 3260. 
And at midnight sharp may feel like he's on death row at this point. This guy should be in Ripley's, believe it or not. What do you think of that? <laughs> believe it or not. And yeah. you know, this midnight star is not 140 pounds. This guy weighs 270 pounds. And he's throwing him around like he's a lightweight, like he's a piece of garbage. And he does not want to finish it right now. I think he wants to apply some more pressure, some more punishment. That, that right there will show you how angry with society this guy is. He hit him right in the head with almost all 350 pounds. That's a great knee drop. Very good knee drop. You see? Yeah, I mean, he could have put him away right I there. I know, but that's the viciousness in the man, and this is what I love. This is what makes wrestling. You got that guy down, man. You're a sucker if you let him up. Don't let him up until you're finished with the guy. You understand? Like, if I had you down, man, you'd never get up. Never. Wait to 6 0 on that second rope. Look out, Midnight Star, dazed in the mid ring. And he takes the shoulder tackle. And that will finish it off. Wow, what agility for that big man. 350 pounds off the second, second rope. And that's called a power bomb, man. And that's the end of 270 pounds, Midnight Star. Another super match by the UWF. Universal Wrestling Federation, the only way to spell wrestling. Back to basics, what professional wrestling used to be. That's what the Universal Wrestling Federation is all about. Hear the power of the UWF. Hear the latest information of the UWF stars, upcoming shows, feuds and debuts. We've got... Steve Dr. Des Williams, Paul Miss Wonderful Orndorff, B. Brian Blair, Cowboy Bob Wharton, John Polis, Captain Lou Albano, right here. Wow, when you talk about Herb Abrams, when you're talking about Steve Williams, you're talking about the class personified, the true world champion, and this is the man, chairman of the board, president of Universal Wrestling, that's bringing wrestling back to where it should be. A proud bunch of men that are truly men, world's best athletes, professional wrestling. Woo! Universal Wrestling. Call now. Join the growing legion of wrestling fans and fanatics all over the world to join the Universal Wrestling Federation power line. Call 1-900-420-4UWF. Call now! In today's financial news, Tech Trend Shoe Corporation announced a major retail expansion in 25 U.S. cities. When I see a company that looks like it might be a good investment, I like to check it out myself. So I do. I go to Charles Schwab, the broker that helps investors help themselves. At Schwab, I can get up to the minute quotes and even look up the latest news on a company's earnings. And when I decide to buy or sell a stock, Schwab cuts my commissions in half. Lower commissions is just one way Schwab helps investors help themselves. For free information about Schwab services, call toll-free 800-445-4800. That's 800-445-4800. Call now for your free brochure. Always there to give you just the help you need. Woo, look there. Boogie man don't feel good today. But first of all, I want to say all my people, all my brothers and sisters, your boogie man loves you all, baby. Colonel Red, Mr. Red, brother, what the hell is in your brain, baby? I took you under my wing. I fed you. When you went to the hospital, who paid for the hospital? Boogie Woogie, have you forgot everything? Colonel Red. What the hell's wrong with you, boy? Ten years! Ten years! I gave you my soul! Everything, baby, poured out of my body! Everything you know! You know because of me. And now, you bring the Russian, Ivan Kolov, And his cousin. You think they're going to do more for you than I did for you, boy? Listen, baby. I've been all over the world. 
And all I hear is what you're putting down right now on the street, baby, about your man that has gave you everything that you have in the world today. Well, baby, if you want to fight fire, if you want a war, that's what you got. Because Boogie Woogie is coming for you, Red. Boogie Woogie is coming. And I'm going to take back everything that I have ever gave you, plus more. You're mine. Mine. Ladies and gentlemen, our next event, a 15-minute time limit. Introducing first, from parts unknown, weighing in at 220 pounds, Viper 2. can wrestle. He can really move. Well, he goes in immediately, knocks the Viper 2 man out. Oh, he's got the referee now. Got the referee now. Whatever he does, people don't care. People are going crazy. This guy can do anything, and they love him. They love him like crazy. You know, him and his brother Johnny, they had the world's tag team champions at one time, plus the TV champions in the United States. Oh, yeah. These guys were phenomenal. They were just as good as the Polish brothers. I'll tell you what, you know, this guy can pull hair with the best of them, too. Don't get the idea that he's Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, no, he's not. He's a street guy, as you mentioned. But you're right, no matter what he does, the crowd always seems to be on his side. Look at, look at the tattoos on this guy. Look at the tattoos on his arm, on his belly. He's got tattoos all over, on his back, got on his neck, got it on his chin. Yeah. He's got tattoos everywhere, man. He must have spent a fortune on that tattoo. Yeah. I'd rather have the money in the bank, man. This guy, you might want to say, look at the skin in this guy. You better kiss, you better kiss, man. <laughs> boogie woogie, man. Oh, he's gonna pull that cap off. Oh, uh, look at this. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? That was a great move. I wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole, baby. You know, he, he's got these fans spellbounded. You know, no matter what he does, look, look at these fans. Just every eye is on this boogie-woogie man. Every eye. Look, whatever he does, he don't care. Here's it to the referee who handled it gingerly. And now what's this test of strength, perhaps? Test of strength on the knees, it looks like. You know, old-fashioned wrestling, I guess. All right, he's got Viper 2, face to face. And he is just tearing the 
Woods and a Viper 2 doesn't know what's next for the oh. Boogie Woogie Man. Viper 2 is lost in there because this uh, Boogie Woogie is unorthodox and he's having a hell of a time. He's having a great time in that ring, man. He's having a terrific time, no question about it. And you know what? This guy can wrestle. Boogie Woogie can really wrestle, believe me. He's a good athlete and he's got the good to deliver, man. He can deliver any time he wants. He had his fun, now he's starting to move now. There's a sleeper oh, hole. right into a sleeper hole by the Boogie Woogie Man. You know, he could put you to sleep a little bit with his antics. You start watching how he gets involved with the crowd and forget about the match, and then all of a sudden he'll surprise you with a, a, a terrific wrestling move. Well, what happens, he has a lot of fun with his opponents, and then his opponent lets his hair down, his hands down, he loses his battle plan, and the guy is finished, you know? And that's what Boogie Man does to like. And it's a sleeper, and another great victory for the Boogie Boogie Man, Jimmy Valiant. And this crowd is Boogie Woogie. Stand-up drop, man. They're going crazy over the guy. Going crazy. And I'm getting out of here. I don't want a second hit, baby. Keep away from me, man. Boogie Woogie, man. What a debut here. The Universal Wrestling Federation. Look out, Johnny. Just to look over here. No more, no more, no more, man. No more. Be careful. Give a kiss to the George. All right, now. Enough of that. Let's go to black here, can we? Hey, oh, no! Oh, oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There you are, man. All right. That's what I like. Good boy. I owe you one, Boogie Woogie. Oh. What do you think of that, man? I think you should go to black right now. Are you in love now? Commercial. Nothing. Herb Abrams. <laughs> what are we going to do? Are we going to fight for his love? <laughs> i tell you what, pal. He's all yours. <laughs> He's not my type, believe me. <laughs> I'm here to tell you about Hard and Heavy, the hardest rock and heaviest video music magazine on planet Earth. For real rock fans only, and here's the deal. In-depth, totally uncensored interviews with the biggest rock acts. Only Hard and Heavy gets the inside track on the best new bands, unsigned bands, You'll see and hear them first. Exclusive live concert footage, music videos, special features, competitions, and living phone agony columns. The outrageous, hard and heavy animated cartoons and always great music. It's subversive and it's dangerous. And isn't that what rock and roll is meant to be? You won't see this on television. Before you buy your next record or concert ticket, check out the cutting edge of hard and heavy video magazines. Call 1-800-647-9999 now to receive your first volume, and with your order, you'll receive free a 30-minute video 50 jokes told by your favorite rock stars. And if you order within the next 30 minutes, you'll receive a free hard and heavy bumper sticker. This election year, the Iowa caucus was held in North Dakota in a cafe. The California primary was held on a farm in New Jersey. And Bud Monroe hosted the Democratic National Convention at his barbershop. Wherever you live, your local cable company is bringing the most extensive election coverage in history to your town. So you'll be better prepared to vote for the next president, who will be sworn in January 20th at the home of Charles and Nellie Sparks. Maybe you ought to make one of them cream pies, Nellie. Isn't it amazing how fast kids outgrow their hockey equipment? At Play It Again Sports, we'll buy that old equipment and sell you something in a better size. Play It Again Sports. No matter what kind of used sports equipment you have, Play It Again Sports will pay you money for it. If your kid is grown or if you change sports, bring your old equipment in. We'll buy it and put it back in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest things that ever happened to Mr. Wren is when I beat Captain Lou Albano and I took away the captain's corner and I turned it in to Colonel Red's corner. I took it away from him and one of the greatest things that ever happened is I get to pick who I interview. Now they're telling me I've got to interview that dirty dog Jimmy the Boogie Woogie Man Valiant. How am I going to do it? I own this corner and I'm not going to do it no matter what. This is my corner. Colonel Red, you a 
supposed to have Boogie Woogie Man here this week. I don't know what you're going to interview him. I don't know what you've got with him. I'm not going to interview him. You are going to interview him. Let me tell you something. You are going to interview him here next week. And if you don't, if you don't, you are going to be terminated. You will be terminated. Next week, ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee it. Here live next week, Colonel Red will interview Boogie Woogie Man, or there will be no, no Colonel Red Corner. UWF and Barry Horowitz, I'm here to stay, and I'm gunning for everybody. Why is the hand on my back of my jacket? Because I'm confident. I'm cocky. I'm bad. Fact, not brag. I'm gunning for the heavyweight championship, TV. You want to call me a light heavyweight champion? I was, but right now, I'm gunning for the TV heavyweight championship. Sunny Beach, you're in my way. I'm going to stomp you. I'm going to put you out like a bad habit. I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm doing. I'm a wrestling technician. From grade school to FSU, Florida State University, you're looking at a premier, Mr. Premier Wrestler. I will gun at everybody I can and beat you all. I don't care if it's fighting, kicking your face in, stretching you, putting you in a three-quarter grapevine, belly to belly. I don't care. I could do it. I'm confident. I know what I'm doing. So to all my opponents out there, it's easier to jump on than jump off. Go for the hottest ride in the park and jump on this wrestling machine. You won't survive. Ladies and gentlemen, our next event is 15-minute time limit. Introducing first from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 230 pounds, Tommy Angel. And now, introducing from St. Petersburg, Florida, making his debut in the UWF, weighing in at 225 pounds, Barry, the star. from St. Pete, Florida. You know, Florida's got some tremendous athletes. No question about it. Great, great athletes. And here's one right here. David Horowitz. It's been 11 years pro. Barry Horowitz. That's what I said. Barry Horowitz. What's the matter with you? Can't I you thought you were talking about the guy who does the... Uh, Barry uh, Horowitz. You know, out Los Angeles, you know, with the consumer thing. David Horowitz, I think his name is. Anyway, Barry Horowitz that worked here with Tommy Angel. Always back today, he's not his juice size. He'll be the first one to tell you that. This guy can have a lock. Very good move. Reverse, another reverse hammer lock. Another reverse hammer lock. This is what I call a basic. Another reverse hammer lock. Super duper. What do you think, George? Look at that. The basics of wrestling is right here. The basics is coming back. Barry is known as an excellent technician. Started out in a youth center, Northwest Youth Center down in St. Petersburg. At age 13, was a high school champion. He wrestled at Florida State for a year. And uh, has had a fine wrestling career. And it's good to have him here in the Universal Wrestling Federation. Although I always get tired of him tapping himself on the back. Like, they let me look at him. Oh, he elbowed him. You know what? He suckered Tommy Angel right there. He knocked him down with a shoulder block. Steps over him now. Good leap frog. Flying on the arm drag by Tommy Angel. Here's a drop kick. Drop kick. Arm drag. The rip is still with the arm bar. Great moves by both. Super, super moves. I think Horowitz thought he had things going his way when he sort of double crossed Angel and elbowed him. And Tommy Angel. This is, that he's a tough customer, too. This is a great wrestling match. This is one of these basic wrestling matches. You know, you've got to bring that basics in. And I think both these guys. They eat wrestling, they sleep wrestling, they think wrestling all the time, and that's what makes them very, very good. And on top of that, super shape. They really know how to move. 
to Tom Zane Dragon. He's my name breathing hard because they love their profession and they know that they're in there, that they're the best. And this is what makes them top. A lot of punching there, every word, huh, John? You know, I'm He's Greek. going left and right over here, for those of you at home. I'm going to tell you something. I'm a Greek, and Greeks always talk with their hands. Oh. You understand? And you're Italian. Yeah. Italians talk with their hands, well, too, right? Don't look at me when you start talking, otherwise I'm going to take a series of left and right. Horowitz, outside the ring, doesn't know what hit him here. If you took a series of left and right, you wouldn't be here. You'd be gone. I'd have to do this program myself. Huh? And I don't want to do this, because I'm teaching you, George. I'm teaching you. In fact, you're getting better every time. With respect to those at home, please do not do that. Oh, Horowitz with a neat move there as he knocks him off the top rope. And now, you know, one thing that bothers me, just too cocky, this guy, Horowitz. A little too cool. Hey, listen, if you got it, man, why not be cocky? Show the world that you got it. You got to be cocky if you got it, man. If you ain't got it, forget it. But he's got it. He's got all the right moves. He knows what to do with all the moves. So if you got it, let the world know that you're cocky. Because you got to blow your own horn, man, because nobody's going to blow it for you. That's a little too much, but he does have, there's a great suplex you saw. Oh, man. Horowitz working now the head of Tommy Angel. Hey, later on, boy, do not turn that dial. The Boogie Woogie Man, John. Oh, man. Jimmy Valiant, this hour, this week. Universal Wrestling Federation, coming up later. We'll have a Colonel Red Corner as well. Check in with the Night Stalker. And the debut of Vladimir Koloff all coming up this hour. There's a backslide. One, two, coming right out, man. It's, these guys are super. These guys, you know, this whole... Oh, package, like, trying to small package one, him. Out. Can't do it. What a great kick. What a great kick out. You know this David Horowitz weighs 225, Angel weighs 220. Harry Horowitz. Oh, pardon me, Harry Horowitz, Barry Horowitz. Harold Horowitz, the star of David. Whoever he is, he's fantastic and he knows his wrestling. And so does this Angel. This Angel knows his stuff too. These guys are given one hell of a match, man. One hell of a match. Angel into the ropes. Oh! oh. Held out of the top rope. Good idea. A double drop kick there by Barry Horowitz. Nothing but air. Now, Horowitz taking a couple of rights and lefts from Tommy Angel. And these guys are thinking in that ring, you know. If you don't think in that ring, you're lost. You're lost. There's a thought. This guy thought great. You understand what I'm saying? Look at this hole. Look at this hole. Looking at that neck. Oh. Takes it down. Super. That might do it. Yeah. Look at that, eh? Super great move by the star of David Horowitz. I'm going to tell you something. I've seen a lot of matches. This is a this was a great, great super match. This match takes no backseat to no other match. This was a very, very great match. You know, the two UWF has really got some tremendous, tremendous wrestlers and all contenders for the Southern State Heavyweight Champion held by Bob Orton. So Barry Horowitz with an impressive win over Tommy Angel. Stay tuned. Plenty more to come. I like a man who knows what I want without my having to paint him a picture. That's why the very first question I ask a new man is, has he seen this video, How to Read a Woman Like a Book? If he has, then I know I've got a man who knows exactly what I want, a man that I don't have to coach. This video shows you how to read a woman, how to know her moods, how to know what she really means when she's saying one thing and doing another. Why guess when you can know? And the step-by-step -step demonstrations in this video show you how to know. Knowledge that will make any woman want to come to you. It's just 1995, so call now and stop guessing what a woman wants. And know, call now. I like a man who knows. To order your copy of How to Read a Woman Like a Book video for 1995 plus 450 postage and handling, call toll-free 1-800-438-9595. That's 1-800-438-9595. Call now. Freedom. It means letting your heart soar and your spirits rush with the wind. The pleasure of freedom. There's nothing like it anywhere. See do mean freedom. Open up and let it into your life. Sea Do Watercraft, the freedom machine. Get connected directly with your closest Sea Do dealer. Call 800 Sea Do 2. Let freedom ring. Call 800 Sea Do 2. They risk their lives every day. It 
requires tremendous strength, skill, endurance, and courage. Who's the toughest firefighter alive? Find out as firefighters from around the globe compete in the second annual World Firefighters Game. The World Firefighters Game from Las Vegas, Tuesday, July 28th at 9, only on Prime Ticket. The event of 15 minute time limit. Introducing first from parts unknown, weighing 220 pounds, Viper 2. Now entering the ring from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, weighing 260 pounds, Dynamite David Perry. Thank you, George. Back with the Golden Greek. John Toller's here. Thanks for joining us here. On Prime Ticket, Universal Wrestling Federation action. Coming up next, Mr. Wonderful, Paul Orndorff. And right here, we've got Dynamite David Terry and the Viper 2. And they're going to work right away. Right side of your screen. I tell you what, I'm out to better get out of there. He's going to get knocked out. Headbutt by Viper 2. John. You can't headbutt this man, man. I'll tell you why. Because his head's hard. There's no question about it. He's got a hard head. Now this guy looks good, man. I like this dynamite, David Perry. I don't know too much about him, but he's another big boy. 262 pounds. Nice to see you doing your homework. So I good. always do my homework. Yeah. I always do. How about this Viper 2? I don't know too much about him. But there's another guy that weighs Great. about 225, 230 pounds. That's terrific insight. Oh, great super kick by dynamite, David Perry. I'll tell you something about him. A guy who learned to fight in the streets. He was also a pro boxer at one time. But you know what he said? He's too heavy to box, and there's too many rules. Have these bodies slammed by Viper 2. So he says this is his sport. Maybe he's too heavy to wrestle. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed that one. Side headlock by Viper 2 on uh, Dynamite David Perry. Nice. Slams him over. Can't get those shoulders down, though, John, when your arm is in that position. That's true. That's true. You know, the next match I'm really looking forward to, I like to see this Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. He thinks that he's the cat of the hour, you know what I'm saying? He thinks that this guy, Mr. Orndorff, is wonderful. Just ask him, and he'll tell you that. Yeah. Hey, how about the reverse side suplex by Perry? To turn the side here. Another side to play. The count one, two, and he's up. The mass man Viper two is in trouble. There's no question about it. Good elbow, a good elbow, another good elbow. A right to the it's eyes by the mass man. Yeah, he got scratched in the face there. Perry's having trouble seeing right now. He goes into the rope and takes the clothesline. If you can't get him one way, man. Go into your book of tricks and get them another way. You know, that's the name of the business. That's the name of professional wrestling. What about rules, John? What about doing it the right way, the clean way? Let me tell you something. The rules, the rules of that book, the wrestling book, is, was made to be broken. And that's what I did, and that's what made me great. But I broke them when nobody seen me. I admit it. I admit it. I broke those rules, but no. Well, had they had television in your day, John, maybe they would have seen some of those. They had television, and I started with black and white television. What do you think of that? You know, radio is tough to, to tell all those moves there. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I've come to the conclusion now. I should be on TV, and you should be on radio, man. What do you think of that? Hey, let's concentrate on this man, Dynamite David Terry, with the elbow to the face, knocking down Viper 2. The, the big boy, he's a big boy. Very big boy, Dynamite, man. And he's got a lot of Dynamite. There's no question about it. But he's not wrestling no slope. He's got defense and a guy lighter than him who's got a lot of guts, too. A lot of guts. Right into the corner. Whip into the corner. Here he comes. Oh, oh. he came with a splash, but nobody home. And when you hit that corner at 262 pounds, man, you feel it more than a 195-pounder hitting that corner. I presume he's been able to hang in there with kind of by David Terry. Tried to arm drag him. Now he's caught himself. His first hip toss is great. What a cute move that is. What a side kick. Super kick, yes. And it'll grease. Did you see the speed at all? I didn't even see that, man. That just came out of nowhere. Neither did Viper 2. Holy cow, man. I, what a move that was. Dynamite Terry does it. Winning here the UWF. Plenty more action to come. Whew. 
Dude, that was a dynamite move by Dynamite David Perry. A prime clothesline. Back to basics, what professional wrestling used to be. That's what the Universal Wrestling Federation is all about. Here is the power of the UWF. Here's the latest information of the UWF stars, upcoming shows, views and debuts. We've got Steve Dr. Death Williams, Paul Mr. Wonderful Landorf, B. Brian Blair, Cowboy Bob Wharton, John Tolis, Captain Lou Albano, right here. Wow, when you talk about Herb Abrams, when you're talking about Steve Williams, you're talking about the class personified, the true world champion, and this is the man, chairman of the board, president of Universal Wrestling, that's bringing wrestling back to where it should be. A proud bunch of men that are truly men, world's best athletes, professional wrestling. Woo! Universal Wrestling. Call now. Join the growing legion of wrestling fans and fanatics all over the world to join the Universal Wrestling Federation power line. Call 1-900-420-4UWF. Call now! friends are coming over tonight. Hank Williams Jr., he was born to boogie. Yeah, baby. I was born to and I was born to boogie. Now available for the first time ever, Hank 22. 22 of Hank's biggest hits from his gold and platinum career. Family tradition Includes the Monday Night Football Boogie. If you don't agree that this is the ultimate Bo Cephas collection, just return it and you will get your money back. Plus, Hank will send the first 50,000 callers the worst of these songs free. Call toll free 1 800 648 4700. That's 1 800 648 4700. Or send check on the order to Hank 22. PO Box 7137 L, Buffalo Grove, Illinois 60089. Gentlemen, our next event, a 15-minute time limit. Introducing first from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds, Johnny Kidd. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 305 pounds, the Night Stalker. of this guy, man. You got to look up there and you get a sore neck looking at this guy. This guy's 6'7", baby. 6'7", 305, 310 pounds. And look at him. He's big all over, man. And no gut, no belly. This guy's massive. Look at the face on this guy, man. Look at him. Let's try to get a close-up of that face so you can see what we're talking about. There it is. Good shot. Look at him. Nice stalker. Oh, man, he just picked up Johnny Kidd and threw him down like he was nothing, like he was a toothpick, like he was a kid. And this kid is 220 pounds and picked him up like he's nothing. Look at the legs on this guy. Look at the legs on this night stalker. Look at the arms, the back, the shoulders. Oh, well, you talk about contenders for the upcoming television tournament, which will decide the... TV champion here in the Universal Wrestling Federation. You gotta put this guy top of your list. Great leapfrog. Let you see that leapfrog. 307 pounds. He leapfrog like a lightweight. I'll tell you what, man. I've seen a lot of wrestling, but this guy's got a great future in professional wrestling. A great future in the UWF. Man, I like to have this guy under contract. He'd make me a bundle. A real oh. bundle. Clothesline, Johnny Kid. You know, I'd like to see that because that means you go back into management. Let me tell you something, George. I can do everything. You know, I'm the master of all trades. The master of all trades, believe me. I can still wrestle. Oh, whoa, whoa, watch it here. Get watch it out of the bed. Came right to our broadcast table. We might have to call on your wrestling skills right now, John Tolan. I gotta tell you what, I gotta hide behind you, man. Especially if oh, now you're hiding. All of a sudden you're hiding. Never mind, especially that night stalker comes out after me, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, Dad. Mr. Tough it. Guy in the microphone. That's all right. Yeah. Night stalker continues to 
Just go to work here on Johnny Kidd. I'll run away, man, so I can play for another day. Look at this guy, like there's nothing to it. Like nothing oh, to it. This is dangerous now because there's just no padding outside that ring. You can see that. And he throws him back in. Oh, you know what impresses you about Night Stalker? He's not only big, he's quick, and he's agile. And with that combination, he's going to be tough to beat. And he wants to show this kid that he's got him where he wants him. Whether it's outside the ring or inside the ring. Oh, way up in the air like nothing. One, two, he took him three, right down whoa. with the hatcher. There it is. That's the hatcher. Took him by the throat, dropped him straight down to the canvas. Johnny Kidd may be wondering why he got into the wrestling business tonight. Did you see the face on that night, Stalker? Look at the size of this guy. What confidence. And this guy hasn't been wrestling that long. This guy is a natural, man. You know what? I'm going to the back room and see if I get this guy under contract. And the fans, I'll tell you what, John, the fans are very smart not to get too close. The Universal Wrestling Federation Beat Brawl is now available on video cassette. The critics have hailed that it's one of the most action-packed nights in the history of the sport. Add power to your video library with this once-in-a-lifetime power jam. The UWF Beat Brawl features Dr. Death, Steve Williams, Bam Bam Bigelow, Paul, Mr. Wonderful Orndorff, who went wild, Cactus Jack, and many more. Also available, the best of the UWF Volumes 1 through 6. Order each cassette separately, or for a limited time only, if you order all six at once, you'll receive the Beach Brawl video absolutely free along with an autograph photo of UWF champ Dr. Death Steve Williams. The best sold separately, 95 each for shipping and handling. Order all best of dates from 1970 and get the Beach Brawl video absolutely free. Send check or money order to Abrams Entertainment Group, 2532 Lincoln Boulevard, Marina Del Rey, California, 90291. Or call 213-822-4187 for more information. So what's the Miller Lite ABG Pro Beach Volleyball Tour on Prime Ticket all about? See for yourself. The Miller Lite ABG Pro Beach Volleyball Tour on Prime Ticket. Brought to you in part by Killer Loop Sunglasses from Bosch and Loam. And by Miller Lite. It's it, and that's that. So watch it. Don't miss this week's Miller Lite Pro Beach Volleyball Tour as they visit Grand Haven, Michigan. And you can witness every fight, kill, and dig Monday at 7.30. In tennis, you don't just play the ball, you've got to play the ball. It's how you play the ball that determines whether your shot is in or out, whether the point is won or lost. Now, you can play the ball and win with this half-hour video by Tennis Magazine Instruction Editor Vic Brady. Free with a one-year subscription. 12 of Tennis Magazine. Call 800-848-4600 for a full year of Tennis Magazine plus this free video. Just $13.77. Call 800-848-4600 now. Special notice, wrestling fans, the UWF Television Championship title has been declared vacant. Former champion Steve Dr. Death Williams has not fulfilled his contractual obligations. The title is up for grabs. You know, Mr. Abrams, you know, I... <laughs> I kind of think something's a little bit funny around here. You know something? When you talk about the television champion being up for grabs, you know, I really didn't hear enough mention about the wild thing, Steve Ray. A lot of people don't take into consideration what I did tonight with Steve Williams. The man deserved to have the belt. Oh, yeah, he deserved it, and he was a better man. And you know what? I can say that. You know why? Because I learned from my mistakes. And you know something, Mr. Abrams? What I like to tell to all the fans out there, I'm ready, better than ever. And Dr. Death, Steve Williams, yeah, he might win his own path. He might went back to Japan. He doesn't want to come to the States. He doesn't want to carry the responsibility of a belt. So we got it up to grabs. Now, all I'm asking, Mr. Abrams, you being president of UWF, I want a fair shot. I don't want any problems. I don't want any mistakes. I want you to ask me face to face, will you? Take that chance. Will you step in the ring with the best? You got Bob Orton. Oh yeah, he's a good wrestler, and he talks about his mistakes lately. Well, you got Paul Orndorff. Yeah, he's a good wrestler too, and he's been pulling things out of his tights lately. You got a lot of good wrestlers in your federation still, and you know something? You've got better ones even coming in. I want a chance. I know the fans out there want me to have a chance, and whatever it takes, I want to be there. Ladies and gentlemen, our next event. A 15-minute time limit. 
Introducing from Lincoln, Nebraska, weighing in 260 pounds, Jeff Husker. Introducing next, from Berlin, Germany, accompanied by his manager, Kevin the Truth Casey, weighing 260 pounds, Helmut Hessler. Well, there you see the manager. Another annoying fella, Kevin the Truth Casey, and his man, Helmut Hessler, out of Germany, taking on the former linebacker for Tom Osborne, University of Nebraska Cornhuskers, Jeff Husker. What do you think of this guy, the truth, Kevin I'll, Casey? I'll tell you what. I asked him why he doesn't use the golf club. The man told me because he's a great golfer. And with the earnings of his money, he makes yeah. Chaos Enterprises. Yes, that's C-H-A-O-S. That's C-H-A-O-S, Enterprises. You know what that means? You know what Chaos means? What does that mean? It means the same thing as I had in, when I was in the ring. Chaos and misery for your opponent. And it also stands for Casey's House of All-Stars. And you ask a follow-up question. Look at... Hessler going to work immediately on Jeff Husker, who probably feels like he's in a big eight team against the Colorado Buffaloes right now. I'll tell you, man, this Husker, I'll tell you what, for the University of Nebraska, the guy was a linebacker. He's got a year, a couple years wrestling, and he's an eminent state champ in Nebraska, and he can really wrestle, and he's strong. And he's going to right there with the arm drag. Husker, another one. And he's going to work, and his crowd is going berserk. Look at this, look at this, atomic drop. Super, and these guys are 260 pounds, and they're moving like lightweight. I can't believe it. These guys are fantastic. All the matches this evening so far, I'm telling you, have been super, super matches. And that's from the Golden Greek. Now, we should mention, John, that Helmut Hessler is also an amateur champion, a European amateur champ. That's probably the reason he's got that headgear on. I don't think I've ever seen anybody wear the headgear like oh, that. Oh, I'll tell you about this Hessler. Believe it or not, he was discovered by Kolov. And he went to Russia, and he trained in Kolov's private. Oh! Did you see that move? Took him down right on the top rope, yes. Unreal. But then it's your point, yeah. In Kolov's secret training camp in Russia. Now, this guy has a little bit of the same ability as Kolov. But both these guys are super athletes. Real super athletes, and these guys are going to go down to the wire, man, on this one. Down to the wire. Helmut Hausler was kicked out of many leagues. You'll know there's a lot of illegal tactics. He gets away with a lot. Power slammed him and took him down, maybe for the count. No. Oscar, tough to put away here. I think they're going to need more than a power slam to beat any one of these guys. These guys have got the fortitude, man, and these guys, believe it or not, there's not much experience in there, but they look like they've been in professional oh! wrestling for 20 years. He hit him with a heck of a clothesline. I like my job. You know why? Because these why? guys and everybody else reminds me of me when I used to wrestle. Super, super, super. I was afraid you weren't going to really catch on with this thing, and uh, we'll have to walk away. And I'm going to tell you something, George. You know what I feel like doing? Well, take it off my tie, take it off my jacket, take it off my shirt and getting in that ring and going all hey, over again, man. If it means taking off that headset, I'm all for it. But I'm going to tell you what. Just believe me when I say this. <laughs> What's the that? The brain says go ahead and the heart we'll says go ahead. to the conclusion of this match the right after these matches. Says, stay home. And I think I'll stay home. That ring is your ring to all the news and going on in the Universal Wrestling Federation. Find out where the UWF is going to be next. And hear comments from your favorite UWF wrestlers like Paul Orndorff, Dr. Death, Steve Bryan Blair, and yes, even Colonel De Beers. Just dial 1-900-420-4-UWF. And find out about the Universal Wrestling Federation. Hey fans, now you can deck yourself out with great looking UWF merchandise and be the envy of the neighborhood. All kinds of wearing apparel is available in all sizes and great looking colors. To order a free merchandise brochure, just write to the UWF, 702 Washington Street, Louisa Del Rey, California, 90292. Walk in style with the UWF trademark merchandise.
ideas and inventions come from people in all walks of life. We believe these individuals, like you, are a great source of creativity. If you have an idea, invention, or new product you'd like to submit to industry, Invention Submission Corporation has a free inventor's kit to help you get started. We can show you how your invention can be packaged and submitted to industry. So call ISC now for your free inventor's kit. For your free inventor's kit, call 1-800-331-1700. Call now. Big elbow to the face, and he's now knocked down. He took a ride on 
queer street there. Oh, look at this, a tight suplex. One, Five. two, three. Yeah. Oh, what a move. What a great match. And there goes the manager. There he goes. Tip it up. Really giving him now, man. Look out, he's got that golf club again. Here's the truth. Casey, he lands a shot with a nine iron right to the midsection. That's what I love. I love that. Why not? Why not? Give it to him. If you got him down, don't let him up. This is you won the match, you won the match. Throw him out and do it, man. Do your stuff. That's what I call professional wrestling. This is disgraceful. You didn't take me anywhere. I took you to the top, Jimmy Valiant. You are a loser. It took me 10 years to figure this out, but now I know. Now I know what a dirty dog you are. And right now I've got the greatest wrestlers that have ever stepped into a wrestling arena. I have a goal off right now as my number one man. And he's going to beat you like the dirty dog you are. You know, Colonel Red. You're a very smart businessman. May I congratulate you on your decision of coming over and joining forces with the Koloff family. Because this boogie-woogie man, Jimmy Valiant, there is indeed nothing valiant about this man. He is a gutter rat. The New York Street, he calls all the people out there, his family, his friends. Well, as far as I'm concerned, if you look up to the boogie-woogie man, Jimmy Valiant, as a friend, you're nothing but a, a good rat, just like him. In America, I understand, there's a lot of street people. But you can go lay in the gutter with this boogie-woogie man. Valiant. Yes, you're going to find out, boogie-woogie man, with hard feelings as far as Ivan Koloff is concerned. I never forget. Yes, we've had a lot of indifferences over the years. A lot of feuds, a lot of issues, unsettled. But they will be settled now. You see, I've got the secret. The Colonel Red knows everything about you. He's traveled up and down that road with you. He knows your secret. And he's in doubt me with every one of them. And now I know your weakness is Jimmy Woogie. Boogie Woogie man. And I know it's going to take you down. It's going to finish you off. And indeed, I'm just the man to do it. I'm looking forward to it. UWF style. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now, Boogie Woogie Man, it's over between me and you. We can never go back. And yes, I got greedy. But you know what? This man right here is going to take it to the top, and I'm going to make more money than I've ever made before in my life. Jimmy Valiant, watch out, because no matter where, we're coming for you. Next week on the Fury Hour, you'll see Southern State Heavyweight Champion Cowboy Bob Orton. Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff will be with us next week leading up to that championship match. And also, Colonel Red with his guest, supposedly, Jimmy Valiant, the Boogie Woogie Man.